hum from the transport sector is Dr. Antonio J. Torria Martinez. Hello, Antonio. What projects are you working on at the moment? So one of the projects I'm working on at the moment is on drones, drone noise. So we are uh, developing uh, uh, protocols for doing uh, measurements, how to do measurements, uh, acoustic measurements of drones. And also we are uh, in the process of, we are doing some uh, research uh, for understanding how drone noise is perceived. The idea is to develop metrics so we can do a more accurate assessment and management of uh, environmental noise due to drone operations. The other project I'm working on is on uh, electric scooters. And in that case, what we are doing is developing an optimized artificial sound to be added to electric scooters in order to increase uh, a vehicle noticeability. So we want to make uh, pedestrians aware of the uh, electric scooter uh, approaching. Our focus is mainly on uh, blind and partially sighted uh, communities because they might be more affected by the lack of mm, sound uh, from these uh, electric scooters. So our main goal here is to uh, contribute to the wider adoption of these uh, micromobility vehicles by adding a, an awareness sound that doesn't contribute necessarily to increase uh, noise uh, pollution. How are rapid changes in the transport sector affecting the acoustics industry? So currently we have uh, more and more um, electric uh, um, vehicles uh, coming into service. So the implications of that is that, uh, for example, we are experiencing a decrease in ambient uh, noise in our cities uh, because of the introduction of electric uh, engines. So we are getting rid of uh, uh, road, a little bit of uh, road traffic noise due to uh, engine operations. In the air, we have, uh, in the coming uh, years, we're going to have drones, we're going to have urban mobility vehicles or flying taxis. And those are going to be uh, new sources with, uh, it's expecting uh, for them to have a ton of noise, uh, uh, high frequency noise, and therefore, they will be highly noticeable uh, by communities. And for that reason, we could have a significant issue due to uh, community noise impact and increasing community noise impact uh, for due to the operation of these, of these vehicles. So in summary, I see that the, the introduction of e-mobility vehicles uh, is going to significantly change uh, our current soundscapes in the urban environments. And one could think of... Uh, Probably one of the biggest uh, changes in the uh, in the soundscape we are gonna we have experienced in the last uh, few decades. How does e-mobility provide an opportunity to change the way in which we address environmental noise problems? Because it's new, so it's a new source. Uh, we have uh, different uh, challenges. Uh, we have uh, different operations, um, operating capabilities. So, so, for example, you can think of of a drone. Uh, usually, if you if you have uh, if you put the focus on uh, aviation industry, you have an aircraft flying from airport A to airport B, and the well-defined uh, um, operational uh, um, procedures. In this case, uh, we are going to have potentially more vehicles flying closer to communities. Um, you know, probably more dispersed, although there will be, of course, some corridors for, for these vehicles to operate. So it's completely new. So we are at this opportunity uh, of why don't we do things differently? Why don't we try, for example, to be uh, to include acoustics just at the beginning of the design process? Why don't we try to employ uh, metrics uh, accounting for in a, in a more accurate way uh, of how people perceived noise, in this case, for example, employing some sound quality metrics that are counting for different uh, audio features uh, representing the way we listen, we uh, perceived uh, sounds. So in summary, because it's a new source, we are at this opportunity to do things uh, differently. And we, we can, uh, again, we can be uh, working with other uh, engineering fields just at the, at the start of the design process for these vehicles. Thank you, Antonio.